Dominion, How the Christian Revolution Remade the World by Tom Holland is an interesting examination of the role of Christianity in constructing Western civilization. The book examines Christianity's effect from its beginnings in ancient Rome to its current impact on culture, ethics, and politics. According to Holland, Christianity substantially reshaped Western ideals and institutions, leaving a lasting imprint on the world. The book is arranged chronologically, beginning with the rise of Christianity in the ancient world and on through the Middle Ages, Renaissance, Enlightenment, and into the current age. Holland follows the evolution of Christian ideals and their effect on Western civilization throughout. One of the key claims of the book is that Christianity changed old Roman and Greek ideals and institutions. Holland, for example, illustrates how Christianity undermined the ancient world's acceptance of slavery. He also investigates how Christian ideals about marriage and family changed societal order. Holland also looks at how Christianity helped to establish a new moral framework for understanding human dignity and equality. He contends that the concept that all persons are made in the image of God provides a compelling justification for treating others with dignity and respect. Holland investigates the impact of Christian ideals on the growth of human rights and social justice movements such as abolitionism, feminism, and civil rights. Holland presents instances of how Christianity inspired art, literature, and music throughout the book. He demonstrates how Christian ideas and symbols emerge in some of Western culture's finest creations. Holland also looks at the issues that Christianity is facing, such as the rise of secularism and the influence of scientific discoveries. Holland's work is a captivating and thorough examination of Christianity's influence on Western society. He offers a sophisticated and thought-provoking look at the religion's continued legacy. The book is well-researched and draws on a variety of sources, such as historical records, literary works, and art. One of the book's highlights is Holland's exploration of the complexity of Christianity's effect on society. He does not shy away from criticizing Christianity's negative aspects, such as its participation in the persecution of non-Christians and its cooperation in colonialism and slavery. Nonetheless, he also emphasizes the good aspects of Christianity's influence, such as its contribution to scientific and technological growth. The book's examination of Christian doctrines and their influence on Western civilization is especially enlightening. Holland demonstrates how Christian ideas like forgiveness, compassion, and human dignity formed Western civilization. He also demonstrates how these notions have been tested and reinterpreted throughout time. In conclusion, anybody interested in the history of Christianity and its influence on Western society should read Dominion. The book is suitable for readers with a general interest in history and religion, as well as specialists in both subjects. Holland's nuanced and insightful approach to this complicated issue offers a useful perspective on Christianity's enduring influence in the modern world.